Prince Harry and Meghan are set to receive the Ripple of Hope Award next month. And some carnival or so-called experts have been asking, what have they done? What have they done? What have they done? The thing is, they know exactly what Harry and Meghan have done. Because even the carnival or so-called experts follow everything that Harry and Meghan do. They follow Harry and Meghan's charity work. And they know that Harry and Meghan are doing more ever since they left the farm, the royal family, than any other member of the royal family is doing. Than what William or Kim Walter or Charles or Camilla is doing. Prince Harry is doing way more than any of them. Both Prince Harry and Meghan. And there is something today that I want to show you. A clip of what Chef Jose Andres of World Central Kitchen had to say about Prince Harry and Meghan the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. When asked a question about Prince Harry and Meghan partnering up with World Central Kitchen. This is what he had um, to question. say. My family. Before we run out of time, you're partnering with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as well to build community relief centres in regions hit by natural disasters. Uh, the structure they're meant to function as schools, as medical clinics, community centres, they can essentially become whatever is needed. Tell us about that project, why it made sense to partner with these two people. Listen, uh, there is no, no doubt that uh, uh, Prince Harry and, and Meghan, they are people of action, obviously. They Prince Harry and Meghan are one? People of action. They don't just talk. They don't go to a you know a charity and tell them like Kimilton told them, told you know the Ukrainian community center that I wish we could do more. Prince Harry and Meghan don't go to charities and tell them that. Like the so-called working members of the royal family, the biggest lie ever told by the royal family. Working members. You know, I only ever heard of working members when Harry and Meghan announced that they were stepping down as senior members of the royal family. That was the time the phrase working members came out. Even the tabloids know members of the royal family don't work. They know that. They know that what they do is cut ribbons. And you've heard from Chef Jose Andres himself, Prince Harry and Meghan are all about action. Not just talking action they don't visit one charity in eight years and be called working members of the royal family like k milton that is not what harry and Meghan do they don't go to a charity and take credit for their work like what k milton and william do no prince harry and Meghan work they work they serve and they've committed themselves to a life of service my family let's hear more from Chef Jose Andres on what he had to say about partnering up with Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Action. My family, let's continue kindly. Listen, uh, there is no, no doubt that uh, uh, Prince Harry and, and Meghan, they are people of action. Obviously, they, they, they bring uh, a, a, a wealth of... of, of possibilities having them joining us supporting what we are doing is great to have people like them supporting our organization that we were very small 10 years ago but that over the last years you know take a look on this pandemic alone we've been feeling people not only through the pandemic hospitals and beyond but we've been in fires in hurricanes in the explosion in beirut in lebanon in back-to-back -back hurricane uh category five in honduras colombia uh we've been in so many countries in this pandemic uh, around the world, for me, it's an honor to have those two individuals uh, uh, supporting us and working together. Uh, Prince Harry has told me if we say next For him, it's an honor to have those two people, Prince Harry and Meghan, working with him. Chef Jose Andres, my family, service is universal. And Prince Harry and Meghan, even support, you know, Chef Jose Andres World Central Kitchen, who have been feeding people in Ukraine after 
you know, Russia waged a war against Ukraine. And on that, you know, Chef Jose Andres said that it's a blessing. It's a blessing, say Chef Jose Andres, you know, on Prince Harry and Meghan's support for charities working in Ukraine. And that those charities were having an impact where it matters most, on the ground. Wow, 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 wow. The wonderful acts of Prince Harry and Meghan. So my family, once again, for those asking why are Prince Harry and Meghan getting the Ripple of Hope Award because of their life of service. Because, my family, to serve, you do not need to earn taxpayer money. You do not need to be on the taxpayer payroll. And Prince Harry and Meghan are not on the taxpayer payroll. They pay their own bills. And I love, I respect that so much about Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And I'm so proud of the work they're doing with Wild Central Kitchen. They are doing a tremendous, tremendous job out there. And may God keep blessing them so, so much, my family. So, so much. And no wonder people are seeing the wonderful acts, the wonderful work. The wonderful service of Prince Harry and Meghan. All the while, while they are precious members of the royal family, William and Kimilton, those, you know, UK media do PR for, are on their millionth vacation. Every time, like every single day, they are always on vacation. They rarely work, yet they are called working members of the royal family. The biggest lie ever told. Members of the royal family don't work. They cut ribbons. They cut ribbons. That's what they, that's what they do. That is what they do. And no wonder when Megan came there, hit the ground running, they were so jealous of Megan's work. And they began talking about teamwork. <laughs> Megan worked so hard in the short time that she was in the royal family that members of the farm had to send out the UK press Two red articles about teamwork. <laughs> That's how hard Megan worked. And no wonder she was told to be 50% of herself. And even when she was that, still, she outshined all of them. All of the others. Due to the laziness of Kim Milton, William, and the mediocrity that the media and the firm like to praise so much time and time again, my family. So my family, Chef jo Jose Andres and Wild Central Kitchen, let them keep doing a tremendous, tremendous job, you know, in Ukraine. So proud of them, my family. Hear this kindly once again. Let's finish up this clip on what he had to say about, you know, working with, you know, Prince Harry and Meghan. Countries in this pandemic uh, around the world, for me, it's an honor to have those two individuals uh, uh, supporting us and working together. Uh, Prince Harry yeah. has told me, Jose, next opportunity, we, I want to be there on the ground with you. They've shown before that they've been there next to the people, even when the cameras well, were not around. I love that they are supporting us and supporting many other organizations. <laughs> wow, I like that. Prince Harry wants to be there on the ground. That is who they are. That is who. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are good people who only ever want to serve. And they are doing a remarkable, remarkable job serving. And may God bless Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex so, so much, immensely. May they always be at peace, have peace, joy and happiness each and every single day of their lives. And may they always continue to touch upon the lives of those, you know, who are less privileged and need their help because there are many people out there who need help and i'm glad the prince and megan are doing just that serving helping out my family may god bless them so so much and every single person who gets the chance of meeting or even coming close to prince harry only has but nice words about prince harry that's something common my family that you know i have noticed about every single person who gets the chance of meeting you know, Prince Harry and Meghan, every single one of them, you know, say they are doing a remarkable, remarkable job and are good, good people. My family, you know, someone said this 
you know, about Prince Harry and Meghan. Prince Harry and Meghan are good people, great people. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Very, very good people. And thank you so, so much, Harry and Meghan, for the work that you do to make this world a better, better place. They are doing a remarkable, remarkable job, my family. And I'm so proud of being a huge supporter of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Now, my family, also, I read an interesting tweet from someone who said this. One brother recruited for the position of royal spouse. The other brother found love and a partner for life not the same. And that is very much true. Imagine, you know, accusing someone for choosing love. Because my family... I saw that when Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior members of the royal family, tabloid media were like, oh, Harry, if it's a duty, he chooses love. And they said it in a way that you would think it's a bad thing. And also, even that what they said is a lie. Because Prince Harry and Meghan offered to serve without receiving taxpayer funding. The same taxpayer funding, the same, same taxpayer funding that are being trashed for using. And still, the firm said no. You know, life in the royal family, truly, as Prince Harry said, is a trap. You are trapped in the royal family. My family, even when you're trapped in a place, do you have to resort to being a bad cruel person because you're trapped. No. You choose the right thing. The right thing in the UK, you know, means not having the support of other people, you know, in the room. But Harry and Meghan did the right thing. Prince Harry did the right thing. And the tabloid media has gone after them because of doing the right thing. Leaving. Fleet Street, composing of Camilla Twain is a liar, and the rest of the carnival of so-called experts, when Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior members of the royal family, said that Harry and Meghan can expect no mercy. Following rogue, following decision to go rogue and quit. That's what they said. The same same, you know, Individuals were the ones spreading xenophobic attacks, anti-American attacks, you know, against Megan, Duchess of Sussex, telling her to go back to America, like how Piers Morgan said, for instance. Yet they complained when Harry and Megan left. Yet they complained when her father chose his wife over them. I even remember one 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 article. Which say that Megan, don't make Harry choose between you and us. <laughs> Imagine the entitlement of that that article that I saw in the past. Megan, don't make Harry choose between you and us. It's like how the people in the palace, this staff at Kensington Palace. Complain to the UK press that Harry won't make them coffee anymore. After he got married to Meghan, that her husband should leave his, his marital bed and come to the kitchen to make coffee for staff. You know, sometimes I even wonder in, in the UK, like, how do you have the guts to go and complain about that? Like, like how? Like how? I mean, tabloid media, they target people with low education levels. And just yesterday, I showed you a video about, you know, from Trevor Noah on what he said about the royal family. There are things to be angry about. The things which are not classified as bad news. Like, the royal family are like, oh, have sympathy with us. Why? Because Harry and Meghan are leaving the UK. They're stepping down as senior members of the royal family. We need your sympathies. 
Britain's favorite couple has become America's favorite couple. Oh, I like how Trevor Noah, you know, said it. There are things which are not even, you know, bad news. However, someone can actually go to the carnival or so-called experts and tell them, Harry wouldn't make us coffee after he got married to Megan. Imagine that is a complaint of the staff. And that is why we have never ever been told or heard of the specifics of the, you know, bullying allegations against Megan beyond the, oh, Megan sent 5 a.m. emails. Beyond that, we've never had anything. So, like, even sending emails at 5 a.m., people of the squad, members of the squad, is called bully in the UK. You know, the royal family weaponized anything and everything to get Harry and Meghan trashed. Even for things that are not worthy of even making the news. they made, It made the news, like... Megan's avocado caused floods and human rights. I don't know what and what. While Cambleton's avocado is so nourishing, good for the baby. Those are examples of racism that Megan faced at the hands, you know, of the royal family in the royal household. My family, it's so painful what Megan had to go through. But I'm glad, however, that she did escape. I'm glad that, you know. Prince Harry found love and chose love. Both of them have chosen love in their lives. They have chosen peace, happiness, tranquility, their mental health. And that is the right thing to do. Choose love because you only live once. And Meghan, you know, saved Prince Harry. Because the life of the spare was one plagued with misery. Was one plagued with alcoholism. That is the life of the spare. A life of misery. Megan, by taking Prince Harry away from that place, truly saved, you know, Prince Harry. And Prince Harry, by taking away Megan from that place, also saved Megan. They saved each other. Yes, Prince Harry was the one who made the decision to step down as a senior member of the royal family to keep his wife safe, to keep his child safe. But my family, one thing is clear. He and Megan, both of them, they saved each other. You know, someone said that, yes, and Kim Wilson became angry and jealous when the good brother, Prince Harry, found love. She wanted both brothers, heir and the spare, seeing as weak William had his mistress. She thought that both men were the same. Harry is nothing like his brother. Harry is a good man with a good heart who takes after his late mom. He's a veteran, humanitarian. He is his mother's son. And that is very much true. While Prince William is his father's son. Like father, like son. Prince William and Charles. Because both of them, you know have cheating allegations on their head with, you know, Charles cheating on the late Diana, William having an alleged affair with Rose Hanbury. My family, I'm thankful that Harry is different. I'm thankful that Harry is very much different. Now, someone called Malika said that I actually wouldn't care if the other brother picked his from the factory. As long as they leave Megan alone, my family, they don't leave Megan alone. They still cling on to trashing Megan in the hopes that Megan will be fed up with the abuse, the racism, and just, you know, give up on the marriage and say, enough is enough, and give up on the marriage and, you know, get a divorce. That's what they're hoping to get Megan to. That is what the tabloid media wants. But my family, they will not be able to get, you know, what they want. Prince Harry and Meghan will continue to live a life of peace, a life of happiness. And they will live a life full of love next to their children, Archie and Elizabeth Diana. 
away from this toxic UK Tory press who keeps saying, are Harry and Meghan coming to Christmas? Are Harry and Meghan coming to Christmas? Then say, Harry and Meghan are bad. Then we look come to Christmas. My family, the smear campaign is a failure. Because if the smear campaign was a success, I can tell you, tabloids would never want Harry or Meghan to ever, ever come to any event that the royal family is, you know, hosting or is at. I mean, think about this. No tabloid can write that Prince Andrew will be invited to Balmoral or Sandringham. To have a meeting, you know, or a family dinner with Charles. No tabloid is going to write that. Why? Because they know his reputation is already ruined. Completely. And that is what they want to get, you know, Prince Harry Meghan too. To ruin the reputation, the characters. That no one wants to come close to Harry and Meghan. That no one wants to work with Harry again. And that's why they're so angry. Because they're receiving the Ripple of Hope Award. Because clearly, the smear campaign is failing. The smear campaign is failing. And is a failure. A complete failure. As Prince Harry and Meghan continue to thrive. And continue to be happy. And people want to work with them. They're being awarded the Ripple of Hope Award. My family... No wonder the UK press is so, so angry and keep on being so, so bitter. Because they see that the smear campaign is indeed a very much big failure. It's a failure. While members of the family head over for vacations, Harry and Meghan are serving. And they are being rewarded for their work, for their life of service, for their commitment to service, to helping out others. Well, Kimberton and William are on vacations. That's why tablets are angry. They're losing their power. And they know it. They've lost their power. And they know it. And they know it. No wonder they're so angry that people would pay a million dollars just to sit next to Harry and Meghan. I mean, who would want to be next to, for instance, Prince Andrew, for instance? I'm using Andrew as an example because I want to show you what the Tory media want to achieve with Harry and Meghan. The goal of the smear campaign. Who would pay a million dollars to even be close to Andrew? Who would want to associate himself to Prince Andrew right now with how his character has been completely ruined and destroyed by his own doing, yes. Who would want to associate himself with Prince Andrew? The answer is no one. No one. But yet, look, despite the smear campaign lasting the, all these years, people will pay a million dollars just to see next to Harry and Meghan. That is evidence of the fact that the smear campaign is indeed a very much big failure. It's a failure, it's a failure, it's a failure. And I'm very happy that indeed the smear campaign is indeed a failure and all these current out there from Megyn Kelly to Kate Milton they're also angry at Megan because they know she got the good prince no wonder someone is so so jealous that Megan calls Harry my husband the jealousy the jealousy my family you know Prince Harry and Megan are blessed blessed to have each other in their lives and i'm just so happy for them may they always be happy and may they always thrive not survive each and every single day of their lives may they always be have joy peace and contentment in their lives each and every single day of their lives my family so what do you think about all of this i want to hear your opinion kindly and with that and so much more stay tuned to our next video and don't forget to like subscribe and support our evergreen family on YouTube. Thank you, family. Always support Prince Harry and Meghan each and every single day. Each and every single day. Always. 
and happiness always looks good on Prince Harry and Meghan. And I love their life of service. I love what they're doing to support others. I love their work with World Central Kitchen. So what do you think about what Chef Jose Andres said about Prince Harry and Meghan? The Duke and Duchess of Action. Impact. They don't go to a charity and tell them, we wish we could do more. Bring nothing. And then say, we wish we could do more. Kim Milton, William, are taxpayer funded. William just inherited an estate that gives him 20 million pounds a year. But yet they'll still go to places and tell them, I wish we could do more. I wish we could do more. My family, no wonder the jealousy when they see Harry and Meghan receiving awards. Harry and Meghan are not taxpayer funded. They are working for their money. They are partnering up with organization companies to help with charity work. And they are doing a remarkable job touching the lives of people through walls and kitchen, through the charity actual. And may they keep doing a very, very good job. Prince Harry and Meghan, we are behind you 100%. And we support you to the fullest each and every single day. And I'm proud to be a supporter of Prince Harry and Meghan. Meghan clearly got the right prince. The good prince with a good heart. The one who has truly his late mother's heart. A good man with a good heart. And may they always be so, so happy. My family, I hope each and every single one of you had a happy, happy Thanksgiving. With your families, with your loved ones, with your friends, or with your spouse, or with someone you care about. I hope you had a happy, happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you ate really, really well. So next month, December, I'm sure we'll be, see, we'll be seeing Prince Harry and Meghan. So I'm very, very happy about that. And also I'm happy that we might get to see another photo of baby Archie and Lippe Diana. Prince Harry and Meghan for Christmas. That's also what I look you know, forward to. And I'm happy about My family, what do you think about all of this? I want your opinion kindly. And with that, and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our Evergreen family on YouTube. And stay tuned to our next video. Happy Thanksgiving to each and every single one of you. And may God bless your families. Chef Jose Andres has told you what Harry and Meghan are doing. Serving, helping people. And he's grateful to have them by his side. My family, I'm happy to hear those words. I'm happy to hear those words. Prince Harry and Meghan deserve to be rewarded for their wonderful, wonderful acts. They are good, good, remarkable people. You know, and may God always bless them so, so much. My family, kindly stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.